Hello everyone, and in this video we're going to work with pagination. Django Race Framework also provides us uh, with a pagination system, as you can see here. And it will help us a lot to basically like split the data, as you can see here, and like blah, 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 blah. You have different type of pagination. You have the page number pagination, limit offset pagination, and the cursor pagination. Um, you can choose um, whatever you think will work for you better. Um, but in this case, I'm going to use the page number pagination, right? Um, if we go to the settings, and then here, we can specify, we just like we did here for the authentication classes, we can specify we can specify the default underscore pagination class for all of our piece. So we can just um we can just do it like this way. So rest, oops. Rest framework dot pagination dot and then page number pagination. You need to specify you need to specify the amount of um I mean the page size. So I'm going to do page size. Oops. It will be three. Okay, pretty much. Um, this is for the this is for the um for the authentication. If we save that automatically, like all our views that um, for example, like the ones that use list and others. And the generic ones, the generic views, they will automatically like choose the, the pagination. But for this one, no. This one, the, the class based view, no. Of course, it depends, but in this case, it won't work. So you need we need to we need to basically like work work with that. Um also you can create a Customize uh, pay, paginator, and I will show you right now. So first, the thing we need to do, we need to import a pagination. So let's go here. Um, best framework dot pagination. Import page number. Page number. Now let's go to the bottom again. Okay, so here let's create a a custom pagination. Right, let's go to well, let's I want to name it respawn pagination. Okay, this is going to subclass the page number pagination right here. All right, here. Now we set the parameters. So page, oops, query parameter. You can put page. I'm gonna put p, like a short version of that. You can specify the page size here. I'm gonna set three. Even though we have three here, let's put five so you can see. Because we're overriding this one. So, so page size query parameter will be page size and then the max page size uh, let's put let's put three okay we have our custom response pagination so now here this is where we the modifications um but for pagination okay 
But I don't, let's call paginator. It will be response pagination, this one right here. And then let's create a new variable results. Results will be paginator paginate query set. This is the query set. I'm oh, sorry. This is the query set post. So we need to pass the query set here. In this case, post and then on the request, right? Doesn't make that. Um. So we pass the paginator. So now here, the serializer. We don't. We need to. Now we need to pass the results right here. Okay, not the post results. Make sure that you're passing the result in the serializer. Um, so now we just make a response and now the response will be paginator get response. Oh, sorry, get paginated underscore response. Now we just pass it. We we just pass the the data. We save that. Let's see if it's crashing. No. Nope. Now let's test that. Let's go here. Um. No. Check here. So here, let's let me see. We got the. Okay. Activate. Yeah. Um. Send requests. And as you can see, we get the response. Um, if we count um, the number of strings that we're getting, for example, one, two, and three, because this is now amount of, uh, this is the, uh, the page size. So, and as you can see here, we're having, we're getting multiple now. Now we have count, it will, this one will uh, tell us the amount of strings that we, in this request. And this five is absolutely five. Previews, no, because we don't have a previews, but we have a next, we have the page two. So if we put um, right here, just like that, page, oops, just like that, a page two, now we are in the page two. We just the two remaining string post. And if we see here, we don't have we, next is null. In previous, we have uh, basically like this. Is, this will be the previous the 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 main like request, right? Um, yeah, and we can let's go. Here. We can increase. Let's put four. Right. Make request. We got now four objects here. And then let's say that we have five. It will be zero because of course our page size is five. So as you can see, next no, previous no, and then just a result with the amount of um, objects that we got here. Um yeah, this is pretty simple and this is the easiest way to do it. Um, let's say that you are in your mobile application, you can just get the account and like get the next and like, oh yeah, I just keep making that request, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And yeah, that's how it is. Um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, series. It's very simple just to, to get basically how this works. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.